Hello, my beautiful fountain friends. I'm going to creep in the Countess, and I can't sleep, so we are going to swatch some inks. Let's go. All right. We have this lovely selection of seven delicious morsels of tasty goodness. Um, you'll find out what they are in a moment. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, you already know what that is. Whatever. 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 We got some Waringal. We got some Ferris wheel press. We got some uh, Birmingham and some Van Ness. Yeah. Let's do it. We're going to go with these these lighter ones first. Get the wearing goals out of the way. Tools we will be using today. We have well-appointed desk coloring cards. We have Moon Man N6 glass nib dip pen. We have cheapo artist loft flat brushes um, number six and also a four. But I don't know if I'm going to use that. Whatever. And we got some water. We got some Tomoe River and Midori MD Cotton to the side. Uh, let's get to it. All right. We're going to zoom in. Whoa, bam. Card is down on the table. Ooh. First, we have Laringal Dizzy Scent of. Oh, I didn't, I didn't look up how to pronounce that. Maiwa? from their like literature collection quite exciting yeah i've done i've done no research <laughs> please forgive me whatever we care about the thing you don't need a history lesson whatever whatever okay double E H W. Very, very light pink. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn that light down. Oh, it's been out of focus the whole time. Are you kidding? What is happening with my brain? I can't sleep. That's what's wrong. I'm not, I'm not well rested. Oh. Anyway, how have you been? What you been up to? I've been feeling like absolute garbo trash lately. <laughs> it is my only wish that things are going better in your neck of the woods. If your woods even has a neck. I realize this is very, very cherry blossom. Reminds me a bit of that new... Hiroshizuku Hana Ikata. Nice. Going down on the, the card nice and smooth. But that's super, that's a really pale pink. Alright, take a quick look at that before we set it off to dry. It's really pretty. can get my camera to cooperate maybe that's the thing that can happen looks like you could probably get some nice shading out of it but that's only because it's really light <laughs> still beautiful color very nice oof next oops another wearing ghoul literature thingy uh, stone cutter song beautiful light brown i am super into these kind of colors it's like dusty grayish you know that kind of dealio whoa it's not drop it Uh, 
Oh, crap. There we go. Why not? Pop it. Pop it like this. There we go. What is lighting today? Why is this being a problem? Anyway. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely, yes. Uh huh. This is my jam. This is my jam. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. That, that's not. <laughs> that was not good. Oh, that's a really pretty color. It's a lot like. Like Swan Illusion Plume. The limited edition Mont Blanc. But it's, um. It's a little bit more. I don't like more of a purpley kind of rosy brown than um than Swan Illusion. Really nice. Goes down really smooth on the paper. Oh yes. Oh, oh that's really Not this is fine. Uh huh. Whoops, I forgot I usually do that. Okay, well, it's fine. You can't measure while. Some debush. Oop. So, not doing anything super cool on the paper towel yet but maybe that will change so that's time to spread oh hoo -hoo. yes yes oh that's gorgeous mm, love that um, next we have a piece of literature that i am familiar with intensely deeply intensely we're wearing gold macbeth Based upon the tragedy by William Shakespeare, my favorite of his works. I am sure that is coming as a shock to literally zero people ever. I thought about going into the whole Lady Macbeth soliloquy, um, but I will, I will, I will, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. <laughs> I will spare you. There. That's, I don't think that's what I actually wanted, but whatever. Ugh. This is a lovely, kind of cooler gray with some really nice silvery shimmer. No, but honestly, if, if I ever had to like pick like a classic role to play in any kind of stage production of anything, I would want to play Lady Macbeth. 100% all the time forever she's so cool I mean she's horrible she's an absolute fucking monster but she's such a badass <laughs> oh come you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts unsex me here I, I, I said I wouldn't I'm not mm -hmm. I promise
Ugh. Yes. I keep wanting to keep going. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with me? Oh, that's so pretty. You no, know, I was threatened with a bottle of this. It's like, no, no, I don't know if I'll need a bottle. It might be too blue. It might not be the kind of gray I'm into. I'll just want it because of the name, but this is really pretty. Oh, this is filling me from the crown to the toe, top full of Dyer's Cruelty. I can't. Oh, that's such a beautiful sparkle. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Can't wait to see that one. Try! Oh! What the fuck am I lambasting your ears with horrific wailings? Okay. Um, next, round out the wearing goal, we have the bottle of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe Faust. Um, I've never read the play Faust. I've seen the movie. Um, the one by... Why? See, my brain is not working right now. I can't remember the guy's name. Murnau. Friedrich. Wilhelm Murnau, the silent film thing. back in the twenties. This the, <laughs> Faust was also part of my recent German expressionist obsession that has passed. Um, but this is nice. Are these bottles are they? They are way smaller in person than they look. <laughs> um, even though you know it's thirty mils, but it still looks like it's going to be gonna be like chalky like big bar nope nope it, it's small very small uh, oh that's tight uh, oh obscene grunting is necessary to complete the task um, this is really nice black oh fun fact um these come with these little cards that have their their pantone value and their rgb um and this one is 666 <laughs> And Faust is about making a deal with the devil. Yeah. So. Mephistopheles would be Mephistopheles. No doubt. Cool. Beautimus. Let's not just share my brushes. Whoa. This seems like it's going to be really wet. Okay, we have a little bit of sheen. It's really rich. I think they call it a violet black. Oh my god, yes. <clears throat> my goth heart. Exploding right now. As if I would have any other kind. But. <laughs> this is immense. Very pretty. It's a really, really nice black. Oh, look. look that just yeah, sucks you in. I'm going to do the swatches on the other papers. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's super juicy. That's very saturated. Oh, <laughs> immediately turned the water completely black. Love that. Yeah. Give it to me. Let's cap the bottle before we have a disaster. Um, these labels on the top, by the way, are from... The Dormouse's Desk? Is it the Dormouse's Desk or just Dormouse's Desk? I think it's the... Um, they're beautiful for showing off showing off ink colors, especially um, Shimmer. It's, mm, it looks so good. So good. Can sometimes have some weird reactions. I can show you a couple of them in a second. 
Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that sheen there. Ooh, that's nice. That is dark and spooky. Abyssal. Abyssal. I love that. Um... Uh, but here's Pinonia Strigoi on one of those labels where it gets this like blue halo. It's fascinating. And then this Vinta Nakar, Mother of Pearl. Like it's a gray with like a kind of silver shimmer. It's got it's really pretty. One of my favorite shimmers of all time. But on this label, it looks purple when it never looks purple. It's not even one of those like grays that kind of leans purple. You see that? Like, that's not purple. You'd never call that purple. But that's purple. Looks beautiful though. Absolutely stunning. Interesting reaction. Ditto. We like that. Next. We'll have Birmingham Pen Company Sterling Silver. It's a wishy-washy formula. Oh, that looks very different on the label than it does um, on the camera. Interessante. Let's dab that up. And by dab, I mean smear. Smear it like a damn cream cheese bagel. And it's on my hands. Of course it's on my hands. Why wouldn't it be on my hands? Dark inky inks always have to get all over everything. Always happens. No, no avoiding it. No, nope, nope, nothing, no can do. No siree, Bob. Whoopsie. Um, anyway, this is their, their wishy-washy formula, so it's supposed to wash out of things quickly and easily. So that's pretty cool. I'm, of course, expecting no water resistance whatsoever. I'm still inking this brush. Kind of. Uh, you know what? Whatever. It's a gray. We're going with it. It's not going to be a big deal. Oh, that is fat. Whoa. Do you see, well, do you see that? <clears throat> Whoa. Uh, that's not, that's not a trick of the light. It goes down. The ink part looks like this violet fog. That is interesting. This card is going to curl like a beast. I'm not super hyped about that. But oh, that is fascinating. That is fascinating. Okay, we're going to see what it does on these other pages. All right, that is interesting. You see that? It looks like magenta paint on top of gray. Looks pretty more of a bluer end of gray, though. It's pretty. But that is such a fascinating look on that paper. Neat, cool stuff. We like it when inks do cool stuff. Oh, it's looking cool on these other papers, too. That's really neat. Cool, cool. How many times am I going to say cool? I don't know. Count it. Van Ness, hissy fit. 
think it is. No, this is their only, like, in-house exclusive. See what I mean? Like, fuck, that is Wabam. That is Wabam Magenta. Or Fuchsia. How do you... Where do you draw the line between Magenta and Fuchsia? I asked for a smaller sample of this one, but not remembering to dip deep enough. Do I do a big fancy H? I'll do a big fancy H. That F is bad. It's very bad. Oh, it looks a lot more purple on the card than it does on the label. See, these, these kind of colors aren't totally my jam usually. But it's cool to have it in my collection. Intense though, holy shit! Boss. I might have to take a peek, compare this to Yamabudo because I'm pretty sure no one else has ever done that ever before in the history of the universe. Of course, why would they do that? Um, it looks a lot more red on camera, it's like a lot more punchy blue undertoned dark pink. Actually, I would probably call this purple. I know some people might get mad that that is a thing that came out of my mouth. Um, but they're just going to have to live with that. Holy shit. Faust is a sheen monster. Holy crap. That is dope. And Sterling Silver is doing some weird shit. Not bad weird. But weird. Oh, that soaked right through the paper towel. Whatever. Whatever. Clean that brush nice and good. Forgot to pause recording again. That's fine. There we go. Van Ness. Hissy fit. <coughs> Seated. Thank you. Hello. It's a very, very punchy color. There, there it looks pretty close to how it does in person. Cool, cool. Literally, it is a cool color. Ooh. I, I think that's sterling silver. Look at that, the interesting like, yellow on the outside of that. That's so weird. But it's neat. I like it. Last, not least. I mean, maybe it's least. I don't know. I guess it depends on how you feel about this color. Ferris Wheel Press, the Velvet Ballet, which is like a dark red with a very interesting kind of pinky shimmer. I'm super into that. 
And again, looking incredible on this doorbell label. Oh, hell yes. Get me in my belly. Nice shift at your heart. And we have an abundance of bubbles. There are myriad bubbles. I misjudged where the hole was. Get your head out of the gutter. Um, it is the Velvet Belly, even though. Whatever, I'm just going to put Velvet Belly. Velvet Belly. That is really fucking hard to say. Oh, that's a really pretty dark red. Oh, yes. This is kind of like... It's kind of blood moony. And it's shimmer. Ferris Hope Press forgot how to do anything else. <laughs> what? You know I'm right. Don't look at me like that. Oh. Oops, okay. Well, I didn't dip enough the first time, but then the second time was way too much. Whatever. Oh, that's nice. Looks a little bit more muted than Blood Moon. Oh, there's like chunks of paper towel in my brush. Alrighty, alrighty. So the swatches are done. Let's just wait for these puppies to dry. That is really pretty. Oh, I like that line of like black sheen up at the top. Maybe it's just not a sheen, it's like a halo, but whatever. It's really pretty. Nice, dark, rich. It's not dark, it's deep. <clears throat> Maybe it's deep, but it's not dark? Is that what I said the first time? I don't remember. What? Whatever. This is me on, on no sleep. <laughs> um, but that's lovely. Pink shimmer. Here we have them on the Midori MD Cotton. That's a really nice selection. See that sterling silver? really like dark on those those edges there and all that sheen on faust is crazy pants crazy pants and like that gorgeous gorgeous and these two are just like a classic creepy nibs colors love that i love that gradient all the like different steps of depth in that pink it's really nice you get the same kind of thing with stonecutter song you know hissy fit's got that like gold sheen that these pinky doodly doos have all the time i think that um velvet ballet swatch a little bit overloaded with shimmer but whatever 
it's cool. It's fine. We're not gonna get mad about a little too much shimmer. Um, yeah. Oh, within that care package um, was also included. Amanda sent me all these bracelets. But yes, uh, included was this Fonte um, glass nib pen with a slip cap. Really cool. Cap comes separate. Um, pen comes like this with this cap. But like, that's pretty dope. It's cool. It's kind of scratchy. I'm still trying to work out the correct angle to get it to write like as smoothly as this one does. That's why I have not chosen it for the card swatchy doodads in videos yet. One because I just got it, and the other because I'm afraid of change. Um, and also a bottle of the dominant industry of Romania Red that I have been gushing about since I got to try it the first time. It's amazing. It's so good. I didn't need a bottle, but I kind of needed a bottle. And she knew I needed a bottle, so she got me a bottle. And I'm like, thank you. Thank you. Their bottles are so cute. From this little pouch. Which, let's be real, it's kind of excessive. Like, it doesn't need to come in a pouch. Um, yeah, this cute little, cute little bottle. 25 mils. So, like, this is, like, 80% glass. <laughs> little big, chalky, chalky glass bottom. But the ink inside, mm-hmm, super scrumptious. Absolutely worth it. Totally one of my, my new favorite ones. Not my number one. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if I even have a number one favorite red anymore. That's a problem. But if I if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Mamba Corn Poppy. Whatever, whatever. These inks are gonna dry. I'm gonna show you all of the things and the stuff when we get to that, and it's gonna be a good time. Whoop whoop. Okay, all of the ink is dry, and let's take a little peek. I pulled out a few little comparisons for some of them, not all of them, because it's a lot of cards to go through, and they're not organized, and I'm 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 losing my mind. I just this, this isn't even all of them. This is this, they all have to go on rings. They all have to go on my spreadsheet. Oh, it's, it's kind of a nightmare. Um, but we're going to ignore that for now. Um, so here is Dizzy Scent of Maiwa. Oh my god, the light. Please stop. Whoa! Turn to this beautiful pale pink. Um, kind of illegible. <laughs> um, but it's really pretty. It's a really pretty color. Um, camera's washing it out. Oh no. <laughs> uh, camera's washing it out more than it looks in person but it's it's a really pretty pink i love this shade of pink it's fabulous here it is next to the new iroshizuku hana ikada the iroshizuku is a little bit more saturated probably more legible of course but they're the same kind of pink in the same kind of ballpark you know they're friends yeah Okay, and we have Stonecutter Song, which is this beautiful you know, brownish gray, grayish brown. I don't know, something like that. One of those light kind of dust colors. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I love it. So I was pretty correct when I compared it to Swan Illusion Plume. It is a little bit more on the, it goes more purple than like the yellowy brown of Swan Illusion, but if you missed out on Swan Illusion and uh, you want something similar, this is, this is a pretty good one. I, know. I love that kind of granular effect on the card there. It's really nice. Cool. Here we have Macbeth, the Scottish ink. Beautiful, multicolored shimmer. It's like green and purple. 
Silver. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Really, really gorgeous, cool gray. Excellent sparkle. Amazing. Love it. I didn't pull out a comparison for this one. Um, it can stand on its own. Why not? Here's Faust. Look at that sheen. Holy shit. This whole thing is just sheen. Um, so if you're into those super sheeny blacks, like um, like Vinta Romblon, Black Onyx, whatever you want to call it, um, this is pretty dope. Really rich, dark color. Like look, You tilt it out of the light, it's like abyssal. It just shines with this kind of green gold beautimousness. That's fabulous. Uh, I did put this in a pen. Um, we'll go over that when I have finished all of the inky stuff. I probably should have pulled out that Venta Black to compare, but I didn't. <laughs> Here's Birmingham Sterling Silver, which is not showing up correctly. It's very much like Armadillo in that respect, but look at that, like that darkness there. Um, this part looks pretty close, but th it's not this blue. I mean, it is this blue, but it's a different shade of blue. It looks more like a pastel navy, but um, it's really more like a pastel denim, like denim color. Really pretty, though. Really pretty. Not my favorite kind of gray, but I like it for a blue. And here we have Van Ness Hissifit. Intense fuchsia. Not really sheeny. I was surprised. I was expecting a lot more sheen. There's like a little line of it up at the top, but that's it. It's not like intense or anything. It's very, very punchy color. Uh, so here is Yamabudo. Yamabudo is a little bit more purple. Also has a lot more sheen. Comparison here. Um, I also have... No, that's that's not that's not close at all. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything quite identical. Here's Edelstein Star Ruby, which is a lot more pink. Like a pinky red. But yeah. It's neat. It's neat. Uh, it's good to have for comparison purposes. I don't know how much I'm going to write with it, but, you know, these things happen. Here we have a Ferris wheel press, the Velvet Ballet. Really intense shimmer. We got a little bit of sheen there, too. I really love the base color of this. It's, a, it's really pretty, like, Pinky silver shimmer. Really nice. Really nice. The camera hates it, of course, because why wouldn't it? But it's it's a pretty red. Um, here it is next to um, my dear Robert Oster Blood Moon. The Blood Moon is darker. It's more saturated. Um, but they're similar colors. Um, this one might be a little bit more like a red brown side and this is, i don't know i don't know how to describe color i'm not an artist there's those two next to each other pretty gorgeous love that all right so here are the other papers we have tomo a river up at the top and we have midori md cotton on the bottom that sheen on faust is just bananas it is insane. It's not tacky. It's not coming up on my finger, so that's nice. But hot damn. Hot damn. Camera, stop it. Stop it. Thank you. See the differences. Um, 
that the stonecutter sunk turned a lot more gray on the Tomoe River than it, and it kept more of its color on the cotton. Oh, that felt just shines. It's incredible. Uh, that has a little bit of sheen there. That's interesting. Uh, and even Stonecutter's Song has some sheen, which you don't usually see in, in inks like this. So that's really cool. Sterling Silver looks ridiculous. That halo, those halos, it's incredible. It's crazy. Um, Hissy Fit sheened a lot more than it did on the card on this paper. So that's pretty cool. Velvet Ballet kind of looks flat on on the cotton, but it's pretty. There's a lot more variation on the Tomoe River. There's no, they're really gorgeous. Gorgeous colors. Lovely selection. Let's collect these up. I'll pull out a notebook and I'll show you the pen that I have fasted. Alrighty, so here we have this old Hobonichi using for these, I don't know, little currently ink snippets, I guess. Here we have the Platinum 3776 Century in Chanel So White. It's got a soft, fine nib. Really like this. Love this nib. Love this. Oh, this pen just feels so nice to write with. It's really good. All right. So, Zoom in a little bit. Why not? Oh, this ink in this pen is super good. Faust seems pretty wet. But if you're not pushing this pen, it's kind of dry. You get some pretty decent variation out of it. Um, I wouldn't push it any harder than that. I, it seems like a terrible idea. Just the weight of the pen there. It's really nice. Let's do some, some back of the nib stuff over here. Let's do it off camera. That's smart. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. That's a creepy nib. Ooh, a really excellent writing experience. Me gusta. Oh. <laughs> I, I missed. Hold on. I'll do that over here. Mm -hmm.
Yes. A little hollow neck, why not? Cute. Yeah, it's really nice, um, like violet black. Like when you're not really putting ink down, it looks pretty purple. Um, but then when you really lay it on thick, it looks like really, it's really straight up. Excellent black. Oh, look at that sheen there. That's crazy pants. Amazing. Cool stuff. Um, that's all I got for you today. I'll have a currently inked coming up soon. I have some, some fresh doobly doos to, to show up and share and all that stuff. It'd be really nice. We will love that together. There we go. Thank you tuning in to this fire swatch with me that was fun i hope you had fun this was fun i love you punch nazis goodbye